What do you know? The citrus trees are all in blossom, so I've got the fragrance of citrus trees all around me. And the birds are chirping. So all that there is left for me to say to you is a happy Wednesday to each and every single one of you. Just a quick catch up on what I've been doing as far as my training for the week is concerned is Monday was a bike workout which I followed immediately up with a session in the gym which included 30 minutes on the elliptical and Tuesday was a, another bike ride which I followed up with another gym session which was weights as well as a bit of foam roller to make sure that my body doesn't completely break down on me. So that was my uh, Monday, Tuesday. Today, as you can see, I'm out a little bit in amongst the orchards, but I'll be heading into the gym shortly for a weight session, and then in about another two hours time I'll be meeting up with a friend at the gym for yet another weight session so there's going to be a double gym session day. Remember what I was talking to you about last week about popping in for a meeting at the local sports office to see what their um, when the local village half marathon is and I found out it's going to be on the 15th of May and being today being Wednesday and it's the 13th of April. That gives me a mere 32 days to get ready to be able to run the Village Half Marathon. And guess what? I've put my name down for it already. So now it's just for me to be able to get myself in enough straight, uh, shape to be able to do the local Village Half Marathon without being completely broken at the end of it. So that's where I am at the moment, heading into gym shortly and getting the first of two weight sessions of the day done. What are you going to be doing? Let me know in the comments down below and also remember to post down below what you think of my idea of straight out of injury barreling into a half marathon. I'd love to hear what you have to say and maybe we can start up a conversation about all of that. With that said, let me get back up the hill that's ahead of me over there and head off uh, into gym. And this hill that's over here behind me, not particularly steep, but I'm just going to hit one or two hill repeats there just to get the heart rate up a little bit. Speak to you soon. And TGIF, happy Friday to each and every single one of you. I'm out here at my favorite fountain once again, collecting some water in the midst of a bike ride. I've got approximately nine miles to go of my bike ride and then I'll be doing something that I haven't done in probably around about a decade or so and that's doing a brick workout. As soon as I get done with the bike ride, I'll be changing my clothes as quick as I can back out the door and doing a run. My hope is to get about an 8k done as far as the run is concerned but we'll see how that develops. So without further ado, let me jump straight back onto the bike so that I've got enough time to be able to get my 8Ks of running in before getting stuck into the rest of my day. Speak to you real soon. One of the awesome things about heading out on the brick section is that you never know what you're going to encounter along the way, like this down here. I don't know if you can see it there behind me. Beautiful little mosaic work that somebody had built in bygone years. Passing by a little stone wall over here. But as I said, heading out on my brick run decided to take a path that I've never been on before to see where that path would lead. And as you can say, see it's slightly more of a trail type of path, but as I say, you never know where a trail might lead you to. And at this stage, I can show you an unfortunately really dilapidated seen better years swimming pool and just beyond that seen better days swimming pool is this definitely seen better days house that behind me that unfortunately fallen into disrepair and 
fallen down, which is incredibly sad because in its heyday, this must have been a stunning house because if I swing around this way, just look at the stunning view across the valley that it was able to enjoy. So unfortunately, this house has most definitely seen better days. Even on the inside, doesn't look. This is a little bit more than just a slight little bit of a fixer-upper that somebody might want to take on as a project. But be that as it may, don't let your training and your fitness go into a state of ruin by uh, lack of consistency and neglect. So with that being said, that brings me to the end of this week's training, by the way. I'm finishing off my brick run in a short little while, and then I'll be, uh, we'll be heading into the weekend, probably get one or two bike rides over there as well. But until the two of us meet again, stay safe, and I'll see you next Sunday for another training vlog. And remember, there's Q&A Wednesday every single Wednesday. Till then, cheers.